It's official. I'm pregnant. What? Life uh, shouldn't be complicated at our age. There's plenty of time for that later. Offended if you don't at least try it. I'm just learning the art of smooth. I said no. She really eat something before you're meeting with Fraser. Meeting I didn't organise. We're just trying to help, and Fraser will be able oh, to. It's a waste of time and money. The police are going to press charges, and I'll be like, sweet as, bring it on. Alice, you didn't kill Ethan. Well, who the hell else did? You wouldn't. I just know that you wouldn't. I've done some pretty heinous stuff when I've been on the Terps. You know, those mornings when you wake up with that awful sinking feeling like you might have behaved badly last night. And then you open your eyes and you're looking at someone else's ceiling. And then you turn over and the guy is either a complete stranger or just plain ugly. Or the hungover mornings when you start the long walk back into town to collect the car only to find that it's already parked in the driveway and how the hell did it get there? Surely you didn't drive it because you sure as hell don't remember driving it. Yeah, I've done some crap stuff, but this... <laughs> This is probably... Well, I've just outdone myself, haven't I? You don't know that you did it. Of course I did it. I wanted to. When Ethan said those things to me, I wanted to kill him right there and then. I wanted to smack that look off his face and keep on smacking. I knew Ethan had a gun. I knew where it was. And I remember going back there and going in to get it. And then? And... That's it. The mother of all black hats. Once the forensic evidence is gathered, well, then I will know. So, like I say, bring it on. Morning. I hope you slept well, because I sure as hell didn't with you playing. Hi, Mr. Mackay. Nice to see you again. Pops, you remember, Anya? How could I forget? I'll see you in a few hours. Hey, Delvey. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yes? You rat. What about Morgan? We split up. Why? Well, she came to her senses and dumped him, obviously. You're still going to university. You're going to med school, aren't you? Because going back to modelling, well, that would be a very bad idea. Yes, I'm sticking with the med school game plan. Honestly, I'm only hanging out with Anya. I'm not going to marry her. Well, why wouldn't you want to marry her? I mean, she's so intelligent and charismatic and also very concerned with green issues. She, like, wants to save the planet, you know? Well, at least she's trying. Give her a break. <laughs> yes, and the eating disorder and the drug addiction? Sorted. She's changed. OK, Anya is what I need right now. I need to keep things simple. Well, she really is quite simple. You've so traded up, Hunter. She wouldn't come. I've never seen her like this, Fraser. Not even after losing Kelly. Devon, you don't need this stress right now. I, I know you care for Alice, but it's... I promised that I would always be there for her. Her mother has her own problems. She can be more of a hindrance than a help. Look, that's all well and good, but if Alice doesn't want my advice, then we're in a difficult position. I can't continue to be her lawyer unless she wants me to. <sighs> She's given up. But I haven't. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness you're back. I missed you too. Yeah, I missed you and everything. But? Well, not but. So why'd you stay at Rani and Vijay's place last night? Scotty, there's something wrong with the house. <sighs> not the wiring again. Well, strange things have been happening, really strange things. Like what? Well, like last night. Originally, Auntie Rani was going to stay with me, but we had to leave because we were too scared to stay. What? Why? She had a nightmare, a really terrible nightmare. You up and left in the middle of the night because Rani had a dream? That Uncle Vijay killed her and then hanged himself. Did you tell her about the history of the house? Why would you do no, that? I didn't. That was the weird thing. The 
really creepy thing. Well, she must have read about it somewhere. You know how suggestible your aunt is. And then there was the sleepover when Tracy and Tanya came. You girls all scared yourselves silly, wound each other up. But what about Tracy and the, the incident? <sighs> that has nothing to do with our house and everything to do with Tracy's problems. She actually had no right to come over and put you in danger. She knew that there was a criminal out there with a grudge, and yet she came Sorry, over. Sorry, she came because I was too scared to be there at night by myself. I keep hearing this baby crying. It'll be from one of the houses in the neighborhood. It's really loud. Noise carries at night. Look, I'm back home now, so everything will be fine. I'm not stepping back inside that house until we have the Pajari bless it. What? You heard, I want the Pajari to bless the house. That's just... Didn't Auntie Rani do some kind of ritual? None of the Vastashanti rituals worked. The fish died. All goldfish died. I want him. And if I don't get him, then... You better get used to living alone. Here, drink this. No, thanks. You won't even take a drink from me. When will you accept my help? Sorry, buddy. You're only here to keep Yvonne happy. Miss Piper, Mr McKenzie, good to see you again. You too, Detective. Ballistics report is back. And? It confirms Dr. Pierce was shot three times from a distance of three metres. Uh-huh. You needed a report to tell you that. The blood and the bullets weren't enough. Alice. I understand he went to the Ferndale Pistol Club with Dr. Pierce prior to his death. Once? Pretty good shot, I hear. Several of the club members commented on your accuracy. What can I say? Beginner's luck. Your toxicology report is back. Ethanol level at the time of Dr. Pierce's death. 125. Oh, completely hammered then. Hammered and angry. A dangerous combination. Me and tequila are always a dangerous combination. I really should just stick to wine and beer. So after you had announced to anyone who would listen at the IV that you wanted to kill Dr. Pierce, you returned to his apartment, located his handgun, and shot him three times. Am I right? The ethanol level was, what did you say, 125 milligrams? That's correct. Being that drunk, I doubt you could even stand straight. <laughs> Probably couldn't. I don't know if I'd be able to put one foot in front of the other with that much under my belt. What about you, Bill? Yeah, I'm not a huge drinker. No, I'd say Alice would have been having trouble standing, walking, seeing, and yet she managed to put not one but three bullets into Ethan Pierce. Well, that's impressive. That's very impressive. It's almost unbelievable. Maldives are so beautiful, but most of the islands are less than a metre above sea level. Do you know what that means? If sea levels rise, they'll be wiped off the map. Not if, Hunter, when. Global warming is here and we have to stand up and be counted. I need a how to fashion against global warming workshop in the Maldives. Hmm. And how does fashion intend to fight global warming? Dress it in a bat-wing jacket and hope it flies away and hides in shame? Hunter's only joking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great you're doing your bit, but what initiatives have you come up with? The workshop wasn't about initiatives. It was about teaching industry leaders the importance of being a friend to the Earth except they have no idea how because it wasn't included in the workshop. That's what our workshop in Tahiti is for. Tahiti? OK, that's a lot of plane rides. We offset our carbon emissions. And how do you do that? We plant trees. Well, maybe you should make your workshops an online event. Then your carbon miles will be cut to zero and you can spread your message even more widely. I don't think so. No. Not too many martinis by the pool if it's online, eh? Hunter. How are we supposed to inspire these people by showing them the natural beauty of these places if we're not actually there? Well, Anita, you see there's these things called pictures or photographs, if you will, and what you can do is you can put them on a website. Do you know what a website is? Where'd you find this one, Anya? Honestly. Sorry, he doesn't quite get it. He's new to all this. Honestly, when Ethan first arrived, I thought, here's a guy with some class, some culture, a surgeon who listens to opera and theatre instead of a drum and bass. I don't care how much Pavarotti he listened to. The guy was a creep through and through. Mm. When he walked out of that op, leaving that poor man for dead. It's bad news, all right? <laughs> yeah, but not cutting up dead people bad news. I mean, who knew he was Dr. Body Parts and Sir Pornography all rolled into one? We don't know for sure about the pornography. That was just gossip. <sighs> Oh, oh, one other bit of it. goss is that apparently he was on with Brooke the whole time he was with Alice. Oh, oh that's old news. Are you taking bets yet? Excuse me? You know what I am talking about. We're sorry, we shouldn't have been discussing it. No, you shouldn't, but I don't suppose that will stop you. 
Don't even get to you. I'm not. I couldn't care less about them. Why don't you take some time out and sit with me for a while? Sorry, Chris, you'll have to find someone else to do your knight in shining armor routine on. I'm not interested. All I'm saying is, if you need a friend... I don't. And all I'm saying is that you could have stuck up for me. And all I'm saying is that you're being kind of arrogant. Hey, so, do you like Cass Black stuff? Uh, I can't afford Cass Black. $200 for it. What's this? I get free stuff from her all the time. This is this season's. Of course it is. She's not going to give me last season's, is she? Anyway, I've got enough of it as it is, so you can have those. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? Uh, film studies. I know that dude. He directed a couple of ads I was in. I wonder if he's going to be at the casting this other. I think you may have it wrong. He's actually a film director. <laughs> Honey, in this country, they have to do what they can to pay the bills. Yeah, well, he's won heaps of awards, so... Why don't you come to the casting with me this Avo? Eh? Well, one, it might prove to you that directors here have to work for a crust like everybody else. And two, it might be interesting for you. I don't know if you're into film studies. After all, ads are many films, right? I guess. Um, I'll just go get changed. <laughs> I wouldn't go do her any favours. She was bitching about you this morning. Well, that's exactly why I have to grease her up. We've got to get the new man's sister on side. Hey, about this morning with Anita, can we forget about it? She's an idiot. At least she's making an effort. How is sunning yourself on a beach in Tahiti making an effort? If she's made to feel stupid, she's going to give up altogether. So we just let her destroy the planet until she's learned her lesson. And I thought the fashion industry was judgmental. Well, look, we're fine for this shift anyway. Shanti, I have a quit and I haven't asked for time off. Of course not, but why don't you take today off and I will rejig the rosters again. Sure. Uh, hey, you're working. Not today, as it happens. Alice, I've been... Uh, what you said the other day, you didn't mean it right. What did I say? Oh, you were boozed and... Oh, yeah. Did I shoot Ethan Pierce? Well, you said you, you did, but I mean, I reckon... I mean, Jeez, I... Kip, spit it out! <laughs> Look, I know you didn't do it. Ethan's not the first worthless jerk you've been out with. Oh, he's pretty up there. Yeah, but you didn't murder any of the others. You wouldn't have offed him. I know it. I thought I did it. I really, truly thought it was me. But then I realised, with the help of Yvonne's lovely lawyer friend, that if I was seeing double, which I was for most of the evening, then how could I have managed... Keep still, Ethan. Both of you. Alice. I didn't do it, Kip. I was wasted, completely munted, off my chops. And for once, that was the best thing I could have been. He was practically laughing at me. It's all well and good for him. He wasn't there, was he? You know, I reckon we just wrecked ourselves out that night. Agreed. You do not need to get the house blessed. Are you serious? You know what that night was like? Something completely bizarre was going on. A ghost? Well, I didn't actually say a ghost. It's okay, Shanti, you believe in them. Lots of people do. And I'm sure if the Pujari ask Casper to leave nicely, there'll be no more rattling of chains or cool breezes. <laughs> oh, what about the Ouija board or your message from Betty? That was one of you two trying to freak me out. We didn't know that she... You knew how worried I was about her. We didn't know that she died. And it wasn't funny then, and it's even less funny now, OK? And the baby crying? You mean the cat? The cat we never found. Look, it is normal to feel nervous when you're alone in a house at night, especially when you're not used to it. But Scotty is back now. Bet he can make you feel better than any Pujari can. Ooh. How was the casting? It was for Maxine Pendleton. She is so mad. You should have seen what she wears on her head. It was recycled mattress foam. She makes them into hats. <laughs> anyway, Anya totally nailed it. You're now looking at the new face of Maxine P. I'm pretty sure the casting was just a formality. Of course it was. Hey, thanks heaps for taking me. I've got to call my friend Olive. She loves Maxine P. <laughs> <laughs> so, big, fat, new deal. Should we go out and spend some of it? I was, um, reading about Maxine P a couple of weeks ago. She was on the news. Of course she was. She's an inspiration. Yeah, well, she uses sweatshop labour in China. All oh, right. So you're going to have to say thanks, but no thanks. No way. Anya. Hunter, I'm an environmentalist. I'm an anti-sweatshop labour person. But she's exploiting people, children most probably, in disgusting, cramped sweatshops. Hello, at least they have jobs. Eh? Well, if it wasn't for people like Maxine, they'd be unemployed. They're probably on 10 cents an hour. 
That is better than no cents an hour, which is what they'd be getting if she didn't give them work. Oh, man, you just don't get it. No, you don't get it, all right? Taking this job will mean that I can do more for the cause. People listen to what I have to say because I'm Anya Sadovenko model. If I don't take big campaigns like this, then I'm Anya Sadovenko who? And then who's going to listen to me when I tell people to stop killing whales or driving SUVs? No one. So you're robbing Peter to pay Paul? Who the freak are Peter and Paul? Oh, oh my God, this is so frustrating. Yeah, tell me about it. <sighs> what the hell are you doing? I say I'm frustrated, like, seriously. TK, I'd like you to take over the weight loss and diabetes prevention programs. Sweet ass. Why? They're going well, aren't they? Uh, we've had good feedback. So why are you taking them off me? Because I'm back and uh, I want to lighten the load. There's no reason that everyone should run themselves ragged. I want to keep working as much as possible. OK, so how about you take over the chronic disease audits? Good idea. Wait a minute. You said you wanted to lighten my load. I do. But what you actually want to do is load me up with paperwork and keep me away from the public, the patients. Of course you do. I'm a potential murder suspect, after all. Brooke, that's not what Callum is saying. It's all right, TK. It's probably a good idea to get this out in the open. After everything that's happened in the last couple of weeks, it is of the utmost importance that I maintain the reputation of this department. After everything that's happened? After your mismanagement, you Hey, mean? let's settle, OK? I was sucked in big time by Ethan Pierce. yes. I trusted his advice, and I trusted him. As a result, I'm lucky to have a position still in this hospital. So you will forgive me, Brooke, if I tend to err on the side of caution. Fine. Thanks for the support. Good news. I found a plumber. We don't have to have showers in the kitchen anymore. Yes. <laughs> The bad news is... Ah, oh, there's bad news. Well, not bad news, just slightly irritating. It's not available to start for another three weeks. Scotty... Well, maybe after your Pujari does his thing, we'll be inundated with <laughs> tradespeople, qualified and available tradespeople. I'm not getting the Pujari. Because? Maybe I let my imagination get the better of me. I've never lived alone before and I got a bit freaked. You know I don't mind if you want to get the house blessed. It makes you feel better. I'll feel better when we make the house our own. Well, in that case, we'd better get started. We could stop by the paint shop on the way home. But first, I want some quality time with my husband. Do we need Pujari's blessing for that? <laughs> Welcome home. Afternoon sleep? Afternoon something. Oh, really? Oh, I remember those days when it didn't matter what time of day or night if the mood took you. Dad, ooh. The rule is we don't need to know what you and Mum got up to before we came along. <laughs> Who's talking about your mother? God. Does Anya want a sandwich? No, she's gone out with a couple of friends. Well, why didn't you go with her? I met one of them this morning. That was enough for me. Mmm, sounds like the shine's starting to wear off. Well, we're not serious. We're just hanging out together. Yeah, in the bedroom. And how does Morgan feel about this latest development? I haven't discussed it with her. Yeah, but is it really any of her business? I mean, it didn't work out. Boo hoo. Shut up, Sophie. What? It's none of your business, all right? Uh-oh. Sounds like someone's still hung up on the ex. You only like Anya because she took you to the casting. Yeah, and she's going to take me to her Max MP photo shoot, so don't blow it. She's my girlfriend, not yours. Girlfriend? <laughs> I thought this wasn't serious. You know what I mean. No, I don't, and by the sounds of it, neither do you. But I suggest you work it out before someone's feelings get hurt. Jam or honey, honey? <laughs> Anything but maple syrup. Canadians serve it with everything. I wish you'd brought some back with you. Scotty, did you hear that? Hear what? Switch off the shower. I can't hear anything. Shh. I thought you had a handle on that imagination. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, you must be Mr. Whiskers. 
Oh, Flora has been looking everywhere for you. Who are you talking to? Scotty, you would not believe. Oh! oh. oh. oh Scotty! Oh, I tripped on this stupid... You know what? I'm not waiting for that plumber. I'm going to fix the bathroom myself. How hard can it be? Where'd that cat come from? Scotty, meet our ghost. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. Good now. Can I ask you something? Sure. I need to know what happened when you arrived at Ethan's. Why? You need to ask? Please, just tell me what you saw. <clears throat> the door was wide open. I thought it was strange, but... I went inside and saw the blood, and then the gun. And you found me in the bedroom? Yeah, you were passed out on the bed, so I put you in the recovery position. I was about to call 111 when the police arrived. Why? Who called them? Uh, I'm not sure. I told them we needed an ambulance, and then we saw Brooke and Ethan. Brooke? Brooke was there? Yeah, on the beach. Hysterical. Why did nobody think to tell me this? She was beside herself. <sighs> she found him dying. Found him alone? What? Well, she did it! No, I don't think so. Chris, if I did do it, and I know I didn't, then it was her. You know it. I now don't I know. know it. Actually, there are other factors. Crap. Alice? Couldn't we have gone somewhere else? I thought you two might like to talk. About what? He's with Miss Skinny Pants now. Miss Skinny Pants? I could think of worse names, but I won't say them. Come on, our drinks haven't even come yet. Let's just go. No, 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 it's all right. I'll go get them. Gerald. <laughs> Hi. We ordered two orange juices, but they haven't arrived yet. Ah, oh, Janelle must have forgotten about them. So, how's Miss Skinny Pants? Who? Oh, Morgan's same for her, not mine. Oh, Anya. Yeah, she, she's great. Much less complicated. Mm. Much less pregnant. That too. Right, look. I don't want to be interfering, but you could go over and talk to Morgan. No, I'm good. She's missing you, you know. Did she say that? No, actually, but I'm her best friend and I can tell. But anyway, you're fine, as you said, so carry on. Alice, hi. Thought you got away with it, didn't you? Excuse me? How convenient. Stupid Alice Piper thinks she killed Ethan. You did kill him. You should be behind bars right now. OK, Alice, let's just get out of here. No way. Because she killed Ethan. Hear that, everyone? This woman is a murderer. Do you think anyone is going to take any notice of a mentally unstable, attention-seeking booze hag like you? 